<laughs> Watch me trick Fred by painting these soap bars gold. <laughs> Morning, Bun. Gold? To share with all my good friends. Well, Bunny, old Bunny, old pal, have some delicious cocoa pebbles. Mm, good. Good as gold. <laughs> <laughs> soap? Of all the dirty tricks. Just good, clean fun, Fred. <laughs> Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but dabba delicious. Welcome! Got a pretty big box here that's come all the way, I say all the way, they're not that far away, the West Midlands maybe, from Pop Figures. Five Pops in here, it's actually two separate orders. Quite a big box, any bigger, and I'd probably better sat down to unbox this, but I think I've just got enough room to be opening it here. So, like I say, two separate orders. One is a pre-order for two pops that, as soon as I saw them, I fell in love with them back in January. And they had a 20% off discount at Pop Figures back then. And then three pops that I've just bought just because I wanted to a few days ago. All five are in the same line. I'm hoping that all five are in here. According to the um, dispatch information in my account section at Pop Figures website, they should be. So... I'm massively excited, particularly about a couple of these, but all five are really cool as well. So five to get through. Let's just get this going, shall we? And for that, you know what I need. You need it too. Well, you don't, but you're going to get it. Boo <laughs> It's now time for the trusty Yellow Knife. Out here in the fields, I fight for my meals. I put my back into my limits I don't need to fight To prove I'm right I don't really need to be forgiven Yeah, 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 yeah Alright, and now let us have a Sizzle Woo! So I'm very excited that I'm getting all five of these, even though it's two separate orders all together. The order that I made for three pops, um, what, three days ago was it? Still has the 15% discount that's automatically applied at Pop Figures at the time of me recording this video anyway. Obviously, any discount that you get at a website is always subject to change at the website's owner's discretion. Yep, yep, five boxes, so I didn't need to worry. Looks like everything that I expected to arrive has arrived. Plus, I can get all these out as they're all in sorters, and I can then move this big box out of the way. There's two on that side and three on this side of the box, so I'm wondering if they've put them in like that deliberate. So I'll try and unbox them like that. We've also got the... Oops, we've also got the obligatory Pop Figures jelly beans there. Right, so five pops to show you. I'm so excited. Some real cool additions to my collection here. So the first one I'm going to show you. Ah, now then, this is one from the order that I made a couple of days ago. This is in a line. I've got one in this line. Only one, and I think a handful more came out. So I thought, and this was, what's this, uh, 2019. It's got a sticker on it, so we'll look at that in a sec. And I thought, I only wanted one in this line, but let me get another one. So, what I've got to show you is number 81 in the Pop Ad Icons range. It is the Blonde Pez Girl, a 2019 full convention exclusive. It's come in Pop Figure's own Pop Protector, as you can see. So, quite a while ago, and I think it was a Facebook purchase, I got Peter Pez, he's up here, but I'm just about to reach up and get him. Yeah, Peter Pez there, look. Um, this was a Facebook Marketplace purchase. I do love that Toy Tokyo San Diego sticker, that's pretty cool, that's certainly a unique sticker for my collection. 
I know, I know. After everything I've said about sticker hauls and everything, it's nice to see a nice sticker. It's just, if I get a pop and it's only got the special edition one on, then so be it. That's just the way it is. It's the pop that I want, isn't it? But blonde Pez girl here. I'm not going to take any of these out of the protectors or the boxes, as um, this video might take some time if I do. Yeah, I wanted to add to my Pez pop collection. Not the pop pairs, I've not got any pop pairs, funnily enough. They're alright then, Nick Land, aka Funko Pop underscore Pez UK, over on Instagram. His Pez collection is absolutely magnificent, it really is. I'd just love to have a look around his gaff and just see everything that he's got and how he's displayed it. So I know Nick will be uh, pleased with that and he'll no doubt have this because he's a big Ad Icons fan and a big Pez fan to boot. So he would have got these probably, you know, way back when. I wanted a Pez girl. This one was available and it was a convention exclusive at Pop Figures. So, yep, this one was the likely candidate. Right, so I wonder if I can get the other two from my order that I made earlier this week. Or last week. Yeah, it'll be last week by the time this video goes out. Oh, no. Um, yeah, go on. I'll show it now. So they didn't put these in kind of an order or anything, but it doesn't matter. This is one of the two that I pre-ordered way back in January. And I just was so excited. And I've just been waiting and waiting for these to come in stock. I think this one I'm holding now has been in stock a little while. But the other one that matches it hadn't. So they were waiting for that one to come in before they sent them both out. Oh, check that out. Number 119. It is in the pop art icons range, but it's Fred Flintstone with a bowl of fruity pebbles. So if you saw the intro, then you would have maybe guessed that this was coming and the other thing was coming as well. Don't own any Flintstones pops, but you know me, I love the ad icons, and I was a Flintstones fan as a kid, so it's not like I'm getting this guy and it's sort of like, well I don't really like the Flintstones, but it's an ad icon. I do like the Flintstones. I didn't really want to collect the normal Flintstones because it's a line where there's quite a lot to get, and although one character each wouldn't be so bad, I think some of the earlier vaulted Flintstone pops are really expensive. So this was a perfect compromise for me, as it ticks the Flintstones box, and uh, it ticks the Ad Icon cereal mascot box. Fred Flintstone there with his bowl of Fruity Pebble cereal. And a uh, quick look at the back, but um, I won't go into that too much, because um, you'll see the other one in this line, well, in this short line. There's only two of them, after all. No idea what's coming. These are all kind of at random. Ah, but this is the one that matches old Fred there. Oh, I've still got the cellophane on this protector. I will take that off. Open the lid to do it, actually. Come here. Got more fingers and thumbs. Is that all off? A little bit more. <laughs> yeah. I think we sorted. Right. So, of course, to match Fred Flintstone with his bowl of fruity pebbles, we have to have Barney Rubble with his bowl of cocoa pebbles. So, number 120... Wow, what a great set this is. I think what I might do is I've got one spare. I might take these out of their individual protectors and put Fred and Barney into one of my double protectors that I've got from ATV. So I think this is just a set that needs to be kept properly together. And of course I will use the Pop Figures protectors at a later date. They always come in handy. But Barney here, Fred's best friend, next door neighbours weren't they? Sorry, it's been quite some years since I've seen the Flintstones. But uh, Cocoa Pebbles, obviously, in the same kind of vein as Fruity Pebbles. But Chocolatey, it's a post cereal. You just see a little post logo above the Cocoa Pebbles emblem there. I loved these the moment I saw them. Flintstone had icons, just great. I'm trying to think of other cartoon characters and famous characters who were associated with advertising certain products and whether we might see some pops of that. I can't think of any offhand, but leave some in the comments if you can think. Right, so we've got two left to go. You know that I've started filling in gaps in the Pez collection. There's also another Ad Icon sub collection that I've decided, yeah, I do want more in, even though I've only got one in. Let's see if we get that now or whether that'll be the last one. Ah no, this is another one in the Pez range. And this is number 91. It's the 2020 Spring Convention exclusive Pez Boy, dressed as a fireman. Lovely stuff. I think now all that I need for the Pez ad icon pops is Mimic the Monkey 
and there's a couple of variants of him there's an exclusive and there's a common so you may or may not be seeing an unboxing of one of those on this channel at some point soon yep marvelous the Pez characters, I've not got awful big fondness for them. Um, in fact, it was quite hard to find advertising bump with this lad on. I think in the end, I think the picture I've used on screen now is just of an old Pez boy Pez dispenser with a fireman's helmet on. Advertising-wise, there was pretty much next to nothing. But still a great pop, still goes very well in my collection with the Pez clown and the blonde Pez girl. All the Pez girls that there are, by the way, are the brunette... And I think there's like a sort of Auburn ginger one that was a Pez exclusive in the US, I think. Never seen that for sale over here. Or if I have, it just completely sort of passed me by and I didn't give it any notice. Right, so the last one, I'm kind of glad this is the last one, as this is another interesting line that I said I'm only wanting one in, and then I changed my mind sort of quite recently. And it is, have you guessed yet? It's in the McDonald's line. Oh, we've got another one with a ton of cellophane still left to take off. Do that as quickly as possible. The only McDonald's pop I've got, if you can see it, yes, you should be able to see it behind me. Ronald McDonald there. And I said at the time, I remember saying to other collectors, particularly other Ad Icon collectors, like Nick Land and Jess from Jess and Peyton, I said, I only want Ronald McDonald, I'm not really interested in any others. But I kind of felt, yeah, I was missing out by not adding more to the collection. And so here is Scuba McNugget, a Target exclusive. Right, so my understanding of these McNugget characters was they're all Happy Meal toys back in the day. It seemed the case when I was looking up for pictures of them anyway. I don't think they've been in advertising. Well, they would have probably been in advertising for the Happy Meals themselves, but they weren't kind of you know, mascots that kind of recurred throughout the history of McDonald's in TV commercials, I suppose. But um, there's a few McNuggets. Um, in fact, I think we can see some on the back here. Cowboy McNugget, Fireman McNugget, Rockstar McNugget, Tennis McNuggets. They're all commons, I believe. This one was the exclusive one. And because it had the Target sticker on it at Pop Figures, I thought, yeah, why not? I'll get Scuba McNugget, even though any of them would have done, really. But it's nice to get exclusives. I like the fact that, um, although Fred and Barney technically aren't exclusives, you know, the other three pops, they're all stickered variants, as it were. Other ones on the back in this line here, Rock Out Ronald McDonald. Well, I've got the first Ronald McDonald pop there, so I won't need that. Birdie the Early Bird, as I'm filling in gaps in my McDonald's collection, yes, that is one that you will hopefully be seeing unboxed on this channel sooner or later. So, wow, what a haul of ad icons that is. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this ad icons haul from Pop Figures. As I say, with Pez and McDonald's, there is some gaps to be filled there. Just one for Pez, I think, if I've done my homework properly. And yeah, there's quite a few more McDonald's ones, but that's going to be something that I'm going to be uh, looking at over time. I may have a couple, two or three in the post, that hopefully by the time this video goes out, I will have opened and unboxed and filmed for your visual delight. Special thanks, as always, go to my wonderful subscribers and my patrons. Don't forget, my GSC Vision giveaway run in partnership with Glass Shelf Collectibles. That's still running. We've got, I'm not sure how long left. It'll probably be about a week or so, depending on when this video goes. No, it'll be a little more than a week, I think. So uh, if you've not entered that yet, the link to that is at the very top of the description. Click on that, watch the video, subscribe, leave the hashtag, have a bonus entry on Instagram if you wish and you are in with a chance of winning the WandaVision Glow in the Dark The Vision Special Edition Funko Pop. Also, further on down in the description are all my usual Funko affiliate links, Patreon link, and my Facebook group link. Lots to enjoy there. I'm going to go now, and I've got quite a lot of sorting out to do, because I've got Scuba McNugget, Blonde Pez Girl, and Fireman Pez Boy. And my two favourites here, Barney Rubble with his cereal, Fred Flintstone with his, all to sort out and put into my ad icons display. And I do hope that you all will join me and all the ad icons next time for my next epic Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers everyone. See ya!